Hello there. Well, you can see I have a an interesting looking piece of wood here. I'm not sure exactly what it is. Um, it looks like it's probably a root. Um, but in any case, what I want to do, so I want to take this piece here, that piece right there, and I want to make an egg cup out of it um, for Easter, you know, keep the bunny rabbits happy. Hello, and welcome to the tiny trailer workshop. Well, you already know what we're going to do, so um, this is what we're going to do it with. Um, I did find that in cutting it, I'm still not sure exactly what, what wood it is, but it smells exactly like a pulp mill. So I'm going to suggest probably hemlock, but I don't know for sure. Alrighty, let's um, see what we can do here. I should also say here, I have uh, I've drilled on the drill press. I've drilled out a um, a recess here, so my chuck is is in expansion mode inside, and uh, we're just going to make this round now. Hmm. Going very fast. Hmm. Um, I decided that I should hollow out the base here a little bit, and this will be the last chance to do it easily. sand out the middle of that a little bit and then we'll turn around and work on the other end. Okay, so that's all sanded now. And it looks like so. So, what we'll do um, is we'll get a piece of non-skid put that over there and we'll close that up until it fits. Okay, now we can work on this end. Again, some more. I guess the first thing we should do is figure out how big an egg is. So, hang on a second. So I guess the best way to measure an egg would be to measure an egg. And what do we got? We got... We got two and an eighth inches long. Let's go metric, we'll say 42. And if we were going metric on this one too, it would be 55. 42 by 55. But now, 55, of course, with that much of the egg is going to sit in the bowl. So, we're going to go to there. There, what did we say? We said uh, 42. Two. Ooh, we don't have a whole lot left there. Thank you. 
that's not a good start. Let's give it another try. That's just not right. flip this back around so I can make sure the inside edges are parallel. I'm just marking the position on the inside wall of both sides and maneuvering the piece into the right place so it can be as balanced as possible. That's better. sanding here or it's not going to get done. Well, that makes a pretty funky looking uh, egg cup, wouldn't you say? pretty good. Now for the tricky part. Okay, so if we loosen that off and bring it out about like that. A one eighth inch gap. So now that spins a little differently. So let's bring this into place. And we'll use that one. Nice zoom, but just wait. Alrighty, um, time to sand again. 
So now we've gone from that to that. We have that space. So let's open that up. That back on the center. Do I want to? I forgot to zoom back out. Sorry. Just remember that when I say we'll move it out to there, it means the same gap as we did on the first strip. spacing the first time and had to go back and clean things up some. Sort of sets a precedent. Okay, so now... I think I put that right back where it was. So, pay attention this time. And it's... There's one, and it's on that side. Grow another set of hands. This a little bit. And it's sanding time. So now we'll turn it again. So, what happens now? Oh. Okay, time to sand. So we were at two, so now we have to go to three. Now, let's see if we can find where that base is.
Well, here we have the Easter Bunny's favorite egg cup. I don't know. It's kind of fun anyway. Hope you have yourselves a good one. Thanks for watching.